Hey there everyone, Faish here back again with another video and welcome to the continuation of our series on React Native. A big shout out to Hashnode for sponsoring the entire series and I hope that you are sharing your learning experience on Hashnode. It's an amazing community, it's your advantage that you share your learning experience so that uh, somebody might notice you, give you a freelance project, maybe a full-time uh, opportunity. There's a lot that can happen when you just share your knowledge. So. In this video, we have uh, we have already gone through with building a component. We discussed a little bit about this image source prop type as well as props with children. All these things we have discussed. So in this video, we'll be just basically understanding the impact of what we have done as well as we'll uh, write some business logic for the app itself. Now first, we have already this component dice. We want to utilize this. Uh, but in order to utilize this, we obviously have to pass it at least one component. Otherwise, how it's going to render this source. So we'll at least pass on this dice one here. This is exactly where you'll understand what we did in the last uh, section. This will be super, super interesting. So let me go ahead and create a state. So this is the state that we have and we're going to call this one is uh, simply dice image and obviously uh, set set dice image. Now, you might be very prompted to simply go ahead and say that, hey, I'll use a state here, a state just like this. And do we have use state? Uh, probably not. And we'll have use state. There we go. Okay, that part of the error is gone. Uh, you might be very prompted to simply go ahead and copy this dice one and just paste it up here. And we'll say that, hey, whenever I'll just use this as a prop type, I'll simply go ahead and pass on this dice one. And right now it's not giving you any error, but this will eventually. So we'll just come back here. So we'll just mark it as to do. It will just yell at us in a minute once we actually start using it. Uh, that is one of the fantastic way of understanding what we have done just right now. So let's go ahead and try to do this. So we'll come back here and we'll say that, hey, let's go ahead and give it some style. That style will be simply device uh, container. So styles dot container. There we go. Inside that, we will directly go ahead and import our component that we just built, which is dice. And uh, there we go. Now, this dice obviously require a, a kind of a image URL that we need to pass on. Uh, so let's just go ahead and say that, hey, we call this one as image URL. So let's go ahead and mark this property as image URL. This accepts a source and obviously we are passing on this dice one. So let's go ahead and directly pass on this dice image, which is a state. And the moment I do this, notice very carefully what happens. I save this and ta -da, nothing happens. Everything looks great. And what you'll notice, even if I run this app, uh, let me show you this. This is the app that we have. Ah, this seems great. This uh, doesn't do anything at all. This actually works absolutely nice. But there is something uh, wrong that is happening up here. Uh, since we are using this type of a thing as a dice prop, the ideal way or the better way of doing this is not this. This shouldn't be done like this. Although it works, but not. it's not always like it works so that we can actually go ahead and use this. So just go ahead and remove this and or just let's just keep it like that. And what we really want to do is first, let me just go ahead and remove this so that you understand how we are actually writing it. Otherwise, it could be really, really confusing is you simply go ahead and first mention that what kind of type we will be using. And this is exactly you mention that or mark that uh, this is like a template that you are passing. So when I go ahead and say image source prop type, there we go. Now I cannot just go ahead and pass on any string like ABC. I cannot do it because it's not that of exact type. ABC, although is a string, and there is no difference between this string as well, but now I'm explicitly explicitly saying that I need an image. You need to provide me an image. I'm not going to settle down for anything short on that. So now I have to remove this and have to pass on an image. Uh, so I'll just go ahead and use a dice one. So the whole magic comes with, comes up from this image source prop type, but you have to actually use this properly so that other developers who are also working in the team actually uses this good practice. Uh, so that's the basic. Now you can go ahead and use and can change this state as much as you like and it will just work on like that. So really uh, amazing. Uh, we will have just a one more button here. Uh, before writing the button, let's write on press. So what will happen when the button is being pressed? Uh, let's go ahead and write that part. So we'll just go up here before the return. We'll just write a method. So const will say roll dice rolly. <laughs> roll dice on tap just like this and this will be a simple method uh, the functionality is super easy we need to first have a random number so we're going to say 
random number. That number needs to be between a uh, one and six. So we're gonna go ahead and use same logic. Math dot floor. You should be now expert in creating the random numbers. Math dot random random. This will generate it. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna simply multiply it by six and we'll add one to it so that zero is not included. So super easy. So multiply it by six and whatever that comes up, then we are gonna go ahead and simply add one to it. Yeah, that should do it. Okay. Now all we're gonna do is uh, write a switch in case here. Uh, let me go ahead and write a switch and case. We'll match it up our random number to multi random number. Come on. Oh goodness. I'll copy and paste this one. Random number and we have to match it for multiple values. We'll match it for one. And if the one matches, then we are going to go ahead and use this set dice image and we'll set it up to dice one. Similarly, we're going to go ahead and make a copy of this and we'll check it up for another case, which is two. And we'll set it up for dice two. So this is exactly how we have to go through and do it. Let me first write the default case. So the default case, what we're doing is set the dice image just to make sure that there is always something we're going to mark it as dice one. There we go. And that's handling our corner case. Now let me go ahead and quickly write for all the cases uh, one to six. So I'll do it in a fast forward manner. All right. So this is done. Uh, yes, it took us some time, but uh, really very very easy there is nothing too complex in this one now let's go ahead and uh, try to have a button that how the button is going to work simply we'll have a pressable event or pressable type here as a prop not prop a component so we'll have uh, press pressable there we go hopefully it imported it uh, yep it imported it for us that is so nice and uh, here we are so this is going to be pressable and in this we'll say uh, simply roll the dice. We obviously have some styling properties that we are going to inject here. Style is going to be styles dot roll the button. We have a text for this one. Let me just check. Uh, dice container. We have just a text for a button. So we'll just copy this. We don't have a style for you. Uh, again, an error. This will definitely give us an error because we didn't wrap it up inside the text. Should be wrapped up like this. This one will go up here. We'll have a style. Style. There we go. And this one will be styles dot roll the button text. Okay, whatever your styling is doesn't really matter. It's obvious. And we'll have simply an on press event. And in the on press event, we're going to simply go ahead and say roll the device on tap. Now, here's a quick question roll the device on tap or run this? Which one do you think is important? Uh, no, we should not be running it because we need to pass on a reference. And when event happens, then we want to run this method. So let's go ahead and save this. Let me unminimize this. So this is what we have. Uh, we're not at this point of time, we are not worried about how this is looking like and all of that. So notice here, when I roll on this, click on this, obviously it took a first time to have this. You can just go ahead and have this roll the device by rolling it, it definitely. Now you can inject a little bit of animation and stuff here to make it a little bit more smooth and like that. So yeah, that's fun and that's interesting. Now this is all the basics I wanted to talk about of handling the images. Uh, definitely it looked very, very easy, but now it's easy. Whenever you are also importing the images, make sure you are declaring them as a module also, when you are passing them as an image, make sure you use this kind of a syntax that is a good practice that will help you to write better code in the future. But in case you want to go ahead, don't want to do all of this. Uh, I just want to have a simple dice as an image, directly want to pass it up like these guys. Yeah, you can do this. But what's the point of having them uh, if you're not enjoying them? Uh, try to use or utilize the TypeScript if you can, wherever. But if you're not, then go ahead and pass on directly these image URL. That's that's okay. All right, so this is all good enough. In the next video, we will work on uh, haptic feedback. I'll show you that how uh, linking is being done in React Native and how sometimes documentation can be wrong as well. Uh, so that's all for this video. Let's catch up in the next one.